Happy weekend, friends. Okay, I went to Tuesday morning today. Actually, I went to four of them. Because I went to one yesterday. They had nothing. But, you know, they have the extra 25% off clearance. So, I got this baby for 60% off plus 25% off. So happy for a still little guy. I got this pack of tissue paper to make my fringe with. Aren't those whoops, awesome colors? So, 20% off and 25% off. I like it because, okay, so a piece of crepe paper, you know, I mean, they're on those rolls. So I thought this would be easier to store. So that was my thinking on that. Okay, now, I picked this up for the grandbabies to play with because it was $1.49. However, when I got up front, it rang up at 69 cents. So, I think that's pretty fabulous. And now, they might not get it. <laughs> Look, the inside of it has glitter around the edges, and I don't think I can make those pretty fun, but, I mean, I might let them have them. It has the rhinestones and the wires. I can make some flowers for their mommy. So I thought that was fabulous. Okay, then I got two more packages of the $1.49 flowers because I can make them any color I want. And, you know, that 50 cents is 50 cents. For 50 cents, I can get my fingers dirty. So there you go. And I found a package of the purses. So I got that. I got this um, glitter cardstock and the envelopes, which I'll probably use the cardstock to cut die cuts with, but 20% off plus 25% off. Good deal. I think that's, oh no, this is the most exciting thing I found to me. Okay, sticky thumb, which I use all the time. Good price to begin with, 60% off plus 25% off. The half inch and the quarter inch. Woo! 300 of each. That's a deal pickle. Okay. Oh wait, there is more. Found these Bow Bunny Brads. Look at this captain, he's hysterical. I thought these would be good on masculine cards. Maybe not so much the rhinestones or the pearls, but you know. These other things over here. I thought those were pretty fun. And then I found this. Okay, so it's supposed to be, you're supposed to use it flat like this, but no, I'm going to use it like this. I can put this, and it has wire in it too. Not, not a great amount of wire, but enough to keep it bendable. I can put that under a rosette. Wouldn't that be pretty? Or in between a layer of paper and have that stick out. Mm -hmm. Or I could even cut it and make fringe with it if I was feeling froggy. So, 20% off with an extra 25. I liked it. Okay, already, did I show these? I don't think so. These are for my church cards. I always buy these whenever I find them because you get 50 of them for $2.99 and pretty much can't beat that. Okay, so these Doris dies were back in the house. Only I'd never seen this one, and I thought it was completely and totally amazing. Now, I have not cut these out yet, but I will and show you what they look like. And they're, you know, they're on the magnet. The magnet is behind them. But how American. I love that. And then I found this one, which is like, I think will be really good for masculine cards. You know, no swirlies and, you know, I think that'd be awesome. You could put different colors behind, you know, the, the die cut. And... Anyway, thought that was great. Then I found these wings. And I have some wings, but they don't have these little twirls on the end. And I just thought those were beautiful. And you could put those together. Put this set and this set together and make the most beautiful butterfly 
or you know any kind of combination or put these on the fairy that we got that has the separate wings and she could have these frilly frilly wings or you could just stick one peeping out from somewhere like there might be a fairy there might be a butterfly anyway I thought they were beautiful and then I got this one and it's a snow globe um, but I thought that would be perfect to make a shaker you can use all these sizes um, or not but you know I loved it and so I got it okay now I don't know if y'all can see those or not. You probably can't. Okay, well, I guess. You know, you saw them. Okay, so... I picked these up because I thought they were so sweet. They're Amy Tangerine Gold Mylar Flare. They're very flexible, and they have a sticky dot on the back of them. But that'd make a pretty little accent to a card. Um, I got some of these, which I had not seen before. They're just the individual little pockets. So, I can try out some of those. So, I got that. I got these tab sets because I thought I could use them for a lot of things. Bag toppers, you know, different things than just... Um, tabs and this is what they look like so they're you know a good size cute big enough that you could stamp something on them or write something on them so I like those and I've been looking at this confetti plate I think that is beautiful here's the example on the back very nice. So, let me show you what it looks like. So it cuts the circles out. So you could actually put a different color circle in or put it over another color or... I think that's pretty fun. So I got that. And my partner in crime, Daniela, got this. And I had seen it there before, and I and I was like, I don't know. And then, after she did her video, I was looking at the back of all the si kinds of boxes that you can make with this die set. And that's, a, that's incredible. So, even though it was $9.99, this is regular price is $39.99, $95, excuse me. And it's got all these, it's got those beautiful little corner punch outs and all the little extra doodahs. So I thought, yep, gonna try that one. And then I've been seeing people haul authentic, and I have not seen any of it. And so I found some, but it's so odd because they had one of each kind. And I just think that's so weird. I don't know if some, if, okay, I usually go the day after truck day. And so this is, you know, two and three and four days after truck day. So maybe this was just all that was left, but only one store had any. And so this is what I got. I found Quest. And I just think... It is so pretty and masculine. And look at this image right here. Look at all that. Look at the foot. Make memories. Oh, I think it's beautiful. I love authentic. Okay. And then I found Accolade, which is like a graduation kind of paper. However, there's so much. There's only really a few, like the ones with the caps on that couldn't be used for any kind of masculine card and because it's this um you know neutral color i could distress it and make it any color 
to go with anything. So I thought that's, that's gonna be really good for some masculine cards. And then I found Poised. And this is so pretty, look at her. Okay, she looks 50s, but she looks 20s. I'm a little unsure about the whole, I guess it's any kind of, but those are gloves and fans like Victorian. Anyway, I love the black and yellow and kind of a grayish brown. Kind heart, fierce mind, brave spirit. That's what we all got to be, ladies. Okay, and then for the first time I found this in the 12 by 12. So, that's very versatile again. All kinds of different um, neutral type papers. And a more and more in French, that means my love. I took French in high school. Don't ask me to speak it now. <laughs> With my southern accent. It's extra special. <laughs> okay, and then I found the swaddle. Which, again, I mean, I love that. I, mean, I love it all. Okay, but, like, this would be a great masculine card. This would. This would. So, you know. It's, it's something that is not just held for, ooh, look at that, color of blue. I know somebody named Tina Cap. I don't think it's coming across there good. That's her, that's her color of the world right there. Robin's egg blue. Look at those, okay, y'all can't see. I've, I've got too much here, <laughs> it's too close. Here, we'll do this. I need my faithful assistant, but she's she's out swimming before this storm from the hurricane gets here. And that's sweet. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Look at those. That's sweet. Okay. Okay. So let me think. Oh. I have to show this. Somebody, and you know who you are. There's actually two of my YouTube friends that the way we really got close and started talking and became more than just um, acquaintances was through a balloon dog die. And I was watching the Crafty Beans video, and she said she had the dye, but that she was going to give it to Daniela Hayes because she really wanted it. And so, but the store closest to me had like five of them. And so I said, Tina, I'll go get you one and send it to you. It's so kind of you to give something that you chose for yourself to somebody else. And so we've kind of kept it a, you know, a thing is that that balloon dog brought us all together. And so I, I sent Tina one, but this one's for Daniela. It's got our little balloon doggy on it. Isn't that fun? She can stick it on her journal or her, or her planner. She's a planner girl. And Tina's is in the mail somewhere, so I can't show you that one. But anyway, that's for my buddy, Daniela. Okay, guys, I guess that's, oh, I'll show you one more thing. You know, my cabinets in my room that were watchmaker cabinets that were full of crystals. I've been playing with the crystals and it just got a circle punch, cut out little images, squirted glue in the back of the crystals and stuck them in there. Do you think those are going to be fun on stuff? And, let's see, can you see that? Yeah. And I'm going to try to make some little shakers with them. So, stay tuned for that. Okay, everybody, I hope you're having a safe, wonderful weekend. And enjoying your family and your crafts and your world. Oh, I have one more thing. So, 
Nikki, my daughter, took the kids to a pet store and she was getting crickets for Lily's lizard. And while she was in there, Lily's been dying for a chameleon. And so the guy that was working in there said, I have a chameleon that um, I don't get to play with like I should. And so I want her to have it. So, you know, naturally Lily squealed at the top of her lungs. And now we have a chameleon named Rango. And so we're getting him acclimated to being held. And he is the most amazing creature. I mean, I'm going to show him when I get to where, you know, he's comfortable with me and... And I'll show him to you. He is, he is the most beautiful creature. And it's so amazing how God makes his creatures because, okay, so, and you don't think about this with animals, but because he changes his color, when he feels a certain sort of way, like if he starts to feel a little nervous, instead of being bright green and yellow, his head will start getting, turning dark and getting almost black. And if he gets real nervous, his whole body will turn black. But if he's happy, he's a bright green and neon yellow. He's amazing. And, you know, to me, it's just, it's like a little reminder of God saying, you know, pay attention, people. Pay close attention. If we paid more attention to people when we were having a conversation with them, and their expression, and whether their face is flushed because they're nervous, or whether their hands are, you know, whether they're wringing their hands because they're, you know, they're bothered. You know, we could show a lot more kindness to people. So, that's what I'm saying about the lizard today. <laughs> okay, guys, y'all have a great weekend. I love you. God bless you. Thank him for your blessings every day.